myself Srileka and today I will discuss about the piss of a castor. Piss of castor. Here the main pest in castor are castor semilupo and second one castor capsule borer. Shoot and capsule borer. So first, castor semilupo, scientific name, Akia genata, Akia genata, and it will come in the order Lepidoptera. So first of all, I will discuss about marks of identification of adult, then larva. So here in the picture, we can observe the Akia genata adult, it is adult and this is larva of Akia genata. Here in marks of identification, first of all, uh, adult is stout, stoutly built adult and having uh, black hind wings. Hind wings are black in color and they having a white band in median, white band medially. And having three white spots or three white markings on hind wing margins. Hind wing margins. Here in picture we can observe these are first pair of wings, these are second pair of wings. These are totally black in color and they having white uh, color band in median and they have three white color spots. Okay, and next thing, larva. Here we can observe larva as a semi looper. Here in the name itself, semi looper because why we call it as a semi looper because actually larva is having two legs and pro legs. Two legs are also called as thoracic legs, they are in three pair of number, and the pro legs are five pair third, fourth, fifth. 6th and 10th abdominal uh, wings are called as a uh, prolex. Here in semi looper, third pair of legs are absent. Third pair legs are absent. So that's why they form as a semi loop. Here, third pair uh, legs are absent. That's why they form a semi loop type of structure. Okay. So, and these larvae are having black color head black color head and on the body and uh, black loop they having red spot red spot and they having two or one pair of tubercles tubercles red color reddish color here in the picture we can observe reddish color two tubercles at end of the abdomen and they having red spot on the black loop and they having black color head okay and the length is 60 to 70 mm in length 60 to 70 mm in length and they having a uh, reddish white color strips on the body they are grayish color and they having a uh, reddish or whitish color strips on the body this is about marks of identification of castor semi looper oviposition site of uh, castor semi looper is leaves and the pupation site is soil this is the most important uh, bit for objective types castor semi looper oviposition site and uh, pupation site and here nature of damage or symptoms of damage mainly these uh, larva uh, feed on the leaves okay this feed on the leaves first uh, stages early stages they will feed sparingly. Sparingly means uh, nothing but they will not eat full leaf. They will leave some of the leaf part. And uh, next stages, second stages or later stages. In later stages, they will eat complete leaves and they will leave only midrib and wings. Midrib and wings. In high infestation, we can see only midribs and wings. There is no 
chlorophyll content on the leaves we see only veins okay so these are oraceous pseudos on the leaves the uh, we can also see skeletonized leaves skeletonized leaves okay so this is nature of damage and symptoms of damage then how we will manage the okay so this is nature of damage and symptoms of damage then how we will manage the uh, castor semi duper collect the larva or destruction of infested plant parts is the main first management then next thing using of tetrastichus or telonimus telonimus this will parasitize the eggs parasitize the eggs then we can also use uh, bracon bracon species Microplates, Ophiusae. This is the most important uh, uh, objective type of question for the competitive exams. Microplates, Ophiusae. Okay, and then it uh, it uh, attached to the ventral surface of the caterpillar. Okay, then next thing using bird purchases or erecting bird purchases at the rate of Ten per hectare, ten per hectare, or we can also use neem oil spray, at the rate of five ml per liter water, or otherwise, if uh, with uh, these practices we can't control, if we can't control the pest, then we will go with uh, chemical practices. We can use methyl parathion two ml per liter water, methyl parathion two ml per liter water. overall this is the management of the uh, castor semi duper then next i will uh, uh, explain about castor capsule and shoot borer here the scientific name of uh, capsule shoot borer is conigitus punctiferalis conigitus punctiferalis okay and it comes under the order lepidoptera lepidoptera it is a potential pest occasionally it occurs as a serious pest okay so it is uh, not monophagous it is polyphagous and here first of all how we will identify the adult and larva are first of all adult is bright orange yellow color in wings bright orange yellow color wings and having numerous black spots numerous black spots on the wings okay here in the picture we can observe numerous black spots on the wings and then larva larva is larva is brownish color having pink tinge brownish having pinkish tinge and having hairs on the body hairs on body and head and thorax are completely brown color head and thorax brown color okay so this is uh, marks of identification so then next uh, nature of damage and symptom of damage here first of all uh, in the name itself it is a uh, capsule and shoot borer so first it will attack the capsules and shoots okay attack capsules and bore into the capsules bore into the capsules and it will bore into the shoots so mainly we can observe occasionally at the junction of petiole and lamina petiole and lamina and rarely we can observe at midrib at midrib so due to the attack of uh, shoot borer and uh, capsule borer we can observe the capsules filled with 
their excreta filled with excreta prassy material present in the uh, capsules of the castor and uh, webbing of the capsules webbing of the capsules it will indicate the presence of capsule and shoot borer okay so mostly we can see this paste at flowering stage flowering stage okay and uh, its oviposition site oviposition takes place on tender plant parts tender plant parts and pupation takes inside the bored capsule inside the bored capsule then management so the main management uh, for the castor uh, capsule and shoot borer is commonly uh, collection of the larva destroy the larva then uh, spraying after flowering and then we can use uh, methyl parathy and tml per liter water common uh, management for capsule and shoot borer there is no specific management and here next uh, uh, important uh, pest in sesamum is sphinx caterpillar Sphinx caterpillar. This is also called as a dead head moth caterpillar. Sphinx caterpillar. It is a pest of sesame. Sesame. It is also called as till. Okay, nubulu. So here, scientific name of a uh, dead head moth. caterpillar or sphinx caterpillar or a hawk moth is uh, acarantia sticks and it belongs to the order lepidoptera so the main important uh, uh, symptom or main important point in this uh, sphinx caterpillar is larva is brownish color large and having skull like marking on the thorax skull like marking on the thorax it is a most important uh, objective uh, question for the competitive exams so which moth having skull like marking on the thorax it is sphinx moth or hawk moth or dead head moth okay so here they are having a, a large color a brownish color wings and they having yellowish violet colored stripes on the abdomen and cross lines two yellow cross lines on the hind wings okay and here larva it is a green color and having yellowish color oblique stripes oblique stripes here in the picture we can observe these are uh, yellowish color uh, stripes they having a anal yellowish color horn here at the end we can observe one horn like structure on the caterpillar so this is the main important uh, points in sphinx caterpillar and another important point related to pest of sesamum gall fly they lay eggs small mosquito like fly lay eggs or insert the eggs into the ovaries ovaries of the flower buds this is different uh, from other type of pest okay so this is also important for important objective for uh, competitive exam so this is a uh, important points from pest of sesame so today i discussed about pest of uh, castor and as well as pest of sesame so i will tell what are the important bits from this topic are first of all in castor semi duper we should remember that it having a medial white color band in hind wings as well as three large spots okay and next thing uh, semi duper uh, does not having third pair of legs due to the lack of third pair of legs they, we will call it as a semi duper and next thing uh, micro Peltis of is using it is a larval parasite. It is a main important bit. 
border and then next thing in gastro capsule and shoot border main uh, important bit is identification mark of identification they have bright orange yellow color and having a number of numerous black spots that is a capsule shoot bo shoot border okay and next important bit in uh, sesamum skull like marking on the thorax is in present in uh, sphinx moth and next thing in gall fly they insert the eggs into the ovaries of the flower buds these are most important bits from these topics if you like this video please share the video to your friends thanks for watching keep watching